Hey guys, what is going on? Kevin here from Excel Aquatics here to provide another technical video. Uh, what we're actually going to be discussing today are four ways uh, that you can take advantage of the technical analysis videos that we have been posting and that we will continue to post uh, throughout this shutdown. Okay, uh, first point here, very obvious, but don't be afraid to submit your video, right? Uh, the best kind of feedback that you'll be able to get is going to be from your own video. Uh, we have a lot of fun making these videos, breaking down um, certainly the positive aspects of each swimmer stroke as well as the areas for improvement. Uh, so definitely don't be afraid. If you have a copy of your own underwater swimming, uh, even if it's a little bit outdated uh, or it could even be above water, uh, send it to us and we'd be more than happy to provide a little bit of analysis. All right. Second. If you don't have your own video uh, and you're watching somebody else's and the analysis that we're providing, uh, don't be afraid to try and draw some parallels between their swimming and your swimming, okay? Uh, the more that we can kind of challenge ourselves to understand the sport of swimming during this shutdown, the better off we're going to be uh, specifically for the long term. Right? You're going to get a better understanding of uh, the technical aspects of the stroke, how the pieces fit together, how one's anatomy can help dictate uh, certain stroke patterns. And those are little details that we do go over in our analysis videos. Um, so going through and trying to see how someone else's stroke compares to yours, as well as how it's different, uh, can certainly benefit you, uh, again, from an understanding uh, standpoint. Uh, third. Another uh, kind of fun way to, to educate yourself with these videos, um, look up on YouTube the professional swimmers, uh, particularly their races, the underwater views, and see how someone else's stroke compares to a professional swimmer, right? Uh, all the videos that we've done uh, have all been amateur swimmers, including uh, myself and a few of the other coaches. Uh, but being able to compare those videos to what a professional swimmer looks like and seeing what the nuances and the differences are can certainly give you some food for thought in terms of how to try and take those next incremental jumps to improve your own swimming game, right? You'll be able to pick up on patterns of uh, what amateur swimmers are doing um, compared to uh, the more advanced swimmers, okay? So don't be afraid to analyze, pull up on YouTube with the amount of technology we have available today. There are thousands of videos, uh, great videos on professional swimmers. Last but not least, don't be afraid to ask questions, right? Even if it's a video that is not your own, um, ask questions, leave a comment, uh, send us an email. Uh, if we go over um, a certain stroke uh, tip or, or maybe a technical talking point, as you will, uh, that you don't quite understand, we might use vernacular you don't understand or, or not familiar with, ask a question, right? The more questions that we have, the more we're going to be able to make better content, number one. Number two, we're going to be able to educate um, our swimmers better. And number three, we may be able to make um, some specific videos kind of going over the answers to those questions um, and a future date. So thank you all for watching. Uh, we hope you have a great day. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all again soon.